In this video, I'm gonna show you how I consistently find winning profitable products fast as a seven-figure Amazon seller. If you're brand new to my channel, welcome. My name is Miles, I'm a 24-year-old full-time seven-figure online arbitrage seller where I make a living flipping name brand products on Amazon. Nike sneakers, Adidas shoes, Legos, Neutrogena, tons of different types of products. And if you wanna learn how you can make a living too, doing that, subscribe to my channel and check out this video. Let's get right into it. I also wanna mention if you are interested in working directly with me to scale up with online arbitrage, all my coupon strategies, don't share on YouTube, three weekly coaching calls, one-on-one -on -one call with myself, as well as a whole lot more. You can check out my coaching program in the link in the description. We're actually running a sale on it right now, so make sure to apply for that. Uh, while that's going, let's get right in the video. Here inside my screen, and to start out, I'm gonna show you guys what a winning product looks like. So we can see right here, these New Balance sneakers are $50, and we are see they're discounted from $75. So right off the bat, they're pretty discounted compared to the retail. Right, we can also see that there's a buy one, get one 50% off right here. So that's gonna actually take these from a $50 buy cost, we're gonna get an additional 25% off, on that all the way down to about a $38 buy cost and then we're gonna add in the sales tax um, on that too. Looking at that on SellerAmp, we can see at a $76 sale price, which what the current buy box is on Amazon, that's gonna make us about $19 profit right here and it's gonna be a net profit margin of about 25% right there. So that's absolutely a winning product right there, looking at that. We can see it's heavily discounted off the retail. We got a nice coupon code that's gonna get it further down. And we can see it's selling for right around the retail price on Amazon. So everything checks out. And what we wanna do also now is check out, okay, we know it sells quick. We know it's selling. We know we're profitable. We just wanna look at the trend of that over time, right? So you guys can see I got seller amp software right here. Also like to use Keepa down here, which is where we can actually see the price action over time on this, so we can see Amazon has been on this a little bit, but we can see they haven't been on here um, at all throughout May. And then we can also see they were consistently not on it um, prior months as well. So if we look at the data and then buy box statistics right here on Keepa, we can see the vast majority of the sales are between 75 and 78 in the last 30 days right here. So I mean, I probably plan on selling these around like 77, 78 right there, which is gonna make us right around $20 profit right there, which is fantastic. The nice thing is um, on shoes, there's also lots of other sizes, so we can like check out some of these other ones as well. So like we can see, for example, this size, absolutely not good right there. What about a size eight right here? Size eight, not good as well, but that eight and a half, and I'm sure if we check down here in the variations, um, there's gonna be some more stuff. That makes sense too, like where are the, it's more of the wee ones, yeah, eight and a half was good. Right there. See what else? Yeah, the nice thing is we can see there's tons in this range. So you can find some more on uh, on here. There's definitely gonna be some other winning items on there. But we can see, overall, just looking at this, we can see the competition's trended down. There were 20 sellers back in February, 19 or so in March. Now we only got right around 14 on that, and the numbers make sense right there. That's a winning online arbitrage product kind of thing. You would, I would grab a couple of, order them to myself, send them off to Amazon Warehouse, and sell them through Amazon's platform right there. But more importantly, we can use this as a starting point to go find more profitable products using the reverse sourcing strategy. What the reverse sourcing strategy is, is we can actually just scroll down on SellerAmp right here and take a look at the offers. So these are the other sellers that are on this listing and we can see how much stock they have and what price they're selling their products at. So what we can do here is we can go ahead and open up the other sellers that are selling this listing, you know, ideally they got like 50 plus reviews um, on there, and then we can actually go ahead and see the other items that they're carrying in their Amazon store, right? So what we can do is, we know that if someone else is selling it right here, that does a good job of vetting, for the most part, whether it's something we wanna pursue and go ahead and look at um, right there. So when we're in a seller store, we can see the different brands they carry, the different categories they carry, and their total review count and the total amount of ASINs, which is the unique products they carry right here. Now, for example, this guy has 17,000. Um, the seller has about 2,200 um, right there. This one's got about uh, 377 right there, about 5,000. Some of these ones where there's like, a ton are gonna be a little bit more difficult um, right there. We can, for example, take a look at like Adidas stuff right here, and then we can go ahead and do is take a look and see, okay, what's selling quick? It's like a 250, 256 rank looks good right there. 
283 rank looks good right there. AK rank, as long as you're below 100,000, stuff selling consistently right there. So now what I want to do is open up these other listings and then we can go ahead and dig in in terms of trying to locate some of these at profitable prices right here. Let's see, you got, yeah, 135K rank, that's fine. Right there, 68K rank looks good. Right here, 78K rank, um, football cleats, football season's coming up in a couple months as well, so these are definitely gonna pop off, I would assume. We can go ahead down here, look at the Kiva chart, we can see that, yeah, we can see rank's actually nice to get going down since the, uh, the winter. Um, and rank actually recently shot up, not sure what's going on with that, but it is still consistently selling right here. So now, you, can, you guys can see it says private label right there. It's just based off having really, really low competition um, on that too. So what we can do, go ahead, hop in variations here because something like this has a lot of different colors, a lot of different sizes, etc. So we'd see that there's gonna be some other ones to potentially look at um, on something like this. So now we can see that um, these are selling for pretty expensive, however, they don't have much demand right here. It's got zero reviews, only two reviews right here. Um, however, something like this, it just looks super expensive. I feel like someone's gonna want the black on black ones. The nice thing is we can verify that from looking at the Keepa right here, which we can see, yeah, and this only been around for 336 days, so it hasn't even been around that long, um, right? So this clearly does sell looking at the Keepa right here. So now what we just wanna do is we can see they're selling for around 156, right? So using the one to two rule, which states that for an item to be profitable, you wanna pay about 50% of the sale price on Amazon or less is gonna let you be profitable on that. All we have to do is one click Google it within SellerAmp and we can see, okay, Adi Zero. Okay, football shoe right there. Okay, well, these are not the right thing um, but they look very, very cheap. And we can see 49 with code right there, so we'd have to hunt down that code as well right here. Let's see. Okay, League Outfitters, 120 right here. Let's see, and these are all black ones, right? Yeah, okay, all black right there. All right, and yeah, 130 on Adidas. All right, we might be beat um, on these, but I really did like the look of these at uh, $49. I feel like these could definitely do well. Okay, let's see. Spark football shoe. Okay. Might be onto something right here. Yeah, so we're paying 49, so you need them around like 100 right there. Let's see. We got white guy. All right, cool. Okay. Oh, wow. Problem with this is uh, the BSR, the sales rank is really high, so these absolutely aren't profitable. All right there. So no problem. Um, let's see. These ones are 68K BSR. And um, they're selling for about 40. It says 28 a month, they're just based off the sales rank. Being high in the past, um, although sales rank has been consistently low for the past couple weeks, so that's the data I'd mainly be looking at. Right here, you can take a look, champagne, okay. All right, yeah, so one to two row, we'd have to pay about 20 bucks for those, which I don't think is possible on there, unfortunately. Let's see right here, top down to the variations as well, right here. Okay, so we can see that the most expensive one on the listing is $41 and it's got 23 reviews and only five sellers right here. So I like the look of that, um, definitely. So let's see, if we can pay about 20 bucks, uh, we're gonna be nice and profitable here. Okay, men's, ooh, okay. Now this is, uh, it's got the thing right there. Okay, ah, 30 bucks, it's not quite good enough. Um, damn, 10 bucks looks nice and cheap on those. We'll take a look at those. All right, um, ooh, okay, there's that blue we want. Right there, Crew Navy, 29, Crew Navy Black, okay. Now, let's see if we Google this if, ah, okay, cool, all right, so we got a winner. Right here, because 12.36 with code right there, so we'd have to track down what code that is, I think. It's, um, it's probably gonna pop up up here, new sale items up to, 40% off. I think it's like checking out in the app or something like that. Ah, May sale right there, boom, okay. Crew Navy Black. So we're in here, yeah, Crew Navy, okay. So we're in here at uh, 18, and then 18 times 0.7 right there. So that puts us at a sale price of 30 bucks at about $6 profit per sale right there, and about a 50% ROI. Um, I don't have sales tax factored in, so it's 
probably for a lot of you guys gonna be like 42% ROI right there, which is great. Adidas also has a rewards program and they typically offer pretty good cash back um, right there. So let's see, ooh, the key is that uh, medium and large are both out of stock though. So we'll have to see what the larger sizes are going for. Ooh, cool. Wow, okay, out of stock right here. Cool, okay. So let's see what the history is looking like on this because if there's no current sellers, absolutely looking like something um, we wanna go ahead and pursue. So yeah, look at this. So we can see that there's currently no sellers and there haven't been all of May. And historically it's been about 31 when it has been in stock and we saw that it definitely went out of stock, right? So at a $12 buy cost, you know, I'd probably hop on this around 35 and then adjust if other people got on it, but there's been no one on it all of May. List this at like 35, I'm gonna price up a little bit potentially, depending on, uh, on that $11 profit, 90% ROI, that's a nice winning product. Um, what about the double X? Double X is 33 right there, beautiful. Okay, we got another winner right there. Yeah, so it's like um, 12.5, I believe. $10 profit, 82% um, ROI, good cash back. We can just look at this and be like, no wonder this moves right here. It's a nice, it's a nice item um, right there, which cool. What about the black and white ones? Okay, challenge accepted right here. Okay, the black and white ones are close. So 21, 21 times 0.7 right there at 29. Yeah, so that's only a 26% ROI and I don't have sales tax factored in. Right there, it becomes 21 times 0.7 right there. Yeah, only a 20% ROI. Not a huge fan of that. Um, we'll have to see if there's any black and white ones that are more expensive right here. Yeah, I don't think those are good, but these uh, Crew Navy ones definitely good. So that was a nice little find um, from adidas.com basically right there. So that's a good item. Love to see that. Rinsing and repeating on that. 20K rank right there. I did not expect those to be good, but it's like money's everywhere, guys. Like it just, it's just locating quick selling products and then going ahead and tracking them down at profitable prices, basically the name of the game. Pretty much right here. So we love to see that. We got a $50 buy cost right here. Let's see what we got. And you only need like one good product an hour to make like, you know, a hundred bucks an hour and everything. So it's like, it's, it's a lot more doable than a lot of you guys think. You just gotta get the ball rolling. Right here, okay, double extra small right here, Tiro track pants. Okay, so, damn, okay, so these are these are girls right here though. See that? Right there, because if those were women's at 14, we would be nicely profitable right there. Um, however, they're not. We can also, sometimes you can Google Lens search it as, uh, as well and track stuff down um, too right there. Let's see. We miss anything in this Google search. Very black and gray. Adidas women's 50. <laughs> yeah, okay, no problem. All right there, all right. Let's see if we can track down another one of these guys right here. But yeah, like, like I said, like money is absolutely everywhere. You just gotta be positioned. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to pay 20 bucks for those. No problem right here, 42. Yeah, I just don't see us being able to grab these for 20 bucks. Yeah, okay, not the case, okay. Those look really cheap though, let's check out those. 20 bucks right here. You always wanna be hunting down deals. These are just at Macy's too. Cool, yeah, 75. There's an Amazon listing on these. I would be shocked if these weren't good. Ooh, okay. All right, let's see, with the gum bottom. Gum bottom with the black right there, okay, 20 bucks. Wow, wow. Women's TR21 racing shoe. Women's TR21 racing shoe, cool. All right, well this is a uh, an awesome item. I, uh, I assume we're competing with Amazon on this. Yeah, that's totally cool though if the ROI is gonna be this high because we can undercut a ton, we have a ton of pricing power on those and that is super, super profitable right there. So um, it's good stuff, love to see that. Um, what other sizes we got right here? Boom, good. We'll try eight and a half. Boom, good as well. And you guys see how we Googled a different product, but it still came up profitably in terms of like we saw this other item. Right here, so this stuff's so powerful. Like check out some of these listings and get some reps in on your own on um, this kind of thing. But it's it's really, really a good way to make money. You just gotta take the time to get good and you have a license to print money. You guys can see me do in these videos. Check out some of the other videos. I got a bunch of tutorials linked below. Get Seller Ramp, get Keepa, get after it. It can change your life only if you take massive action. I'll see you guys in the next one.